In this problem, we're told a grasshopper hops down a level road. On each hop, the grasshopper launches itself at an angle of 45 degrees and achieves a range of r equals 1 meter. What is the average horizontal speed of the grasshopper as it progresses down the road? Assume the time spent on the ground between hops is negligible. So let's go ahead and write down what we're given for this problem. So given, so we're told the angle it's going to be jumping it at is going to be 45 degrees. So theta is going to be equal to 45 degrees. And then we're also told r is going to be equal to 1 meter. So its range is going to be 1 meter. And so this is all we need to write down to solve this problem. And so the formula we're going to use for this is the range formula. And so if you don't know what that formula is, it's range equals u squared times the sine of 2 theta over g. And so r is going to be your range, which they give you. In some cases, it might be delta x. But in this case, they just tell you what the range is. U is going to be your uh, velocity, right? So your initial velocity. And right, remember, that's it, it's at an angle. And so that's what U is. And then G is just going to be the force of gravity. And you know gravity is uh, 9.8 meters per second squared. So all we have to do is just take everything in, and we're going to be solving for U. So if we want to get U by itself, all we have to do is uh, multiply both sides by G. And that will get rid of this. So we'll have G times r is equal to u squared over the sine of 2 theta. And so if we want to get u squared by itself, divide both sides by the sine of 2 theta. Because keep in mind, that's what we're solving for. We need to find u because u is uh, the uh, velocity this way, right? So just your vector velocity. And if we have the velocity, the initial velocity, what we can do is we can find the horizontal uh, component. So we're going to be solving for u. That's why we're getting it by itself. And so we're going to know u squared equals g times r over the sine of 2 theta. And so if we just square root both sides, uh, we'll get that u equals the square root uh, of g times r over the sine of 2 theta. So let's just go ahead and plug everything in, and then we'll get what u is. So if we plug it in, u is going to be equal to the square root of g, which is uh, 9.8, times our range, which we know is 1 over the sine of 2 times theta. And so theta is our angle, and we know it's going to be 45. And so 2 times 45 is just 90, so it's the sine of 90. And so essentially what this is going to be is the sine of 90 is just 1. 9.8 times 1 is just uh, 1. So u is basically going to be equal to the square root of 9.8. And if you square root this, you're going to get that u equals 3.13 meters per second. And so this is going to be our velocity. And if you imagine it like this, this is our velocity, 3.13 meters per second. And we know it's jumping at an angle like this, right? So this is 45 degrees. And if this is our vector, right, we want to find uh, the vertical, or we're trying to find the horizontal speed, right? So essentially what we need to do is we need to solve for this, so this uh, component of the vector. And so the way we go about doing this is you should know that the cosine of an angle, so in this case 45, is equal to the adjacent side, which I'm just going to call x, over your hypotenuse. So we know it's just adjacent over hypotenuse, so Katoa. So our adjacent is x, and our hypotenuse is 3.13. So if we want to solve for x, multiply both sides by 3.13, x is going to be equal to 3.13 times the cosine of 45. And so if you go ahead and do this, uh, you're going to get that uh, the initial velocity in the x direction, right? So you could just call it v sub 0 of x is going to be equal to 2.21 meters per second. And I'm going to go ahead and round to the tenths place. So I'm going to write it over here. So the initial, the average horizontal speed is going to be equal to 2.2 meters per second. So this right here is going to be your answer. And hopefully you found this useful.